Good Monday morning, boys and girls. Hope you all had a chance to get outside and play this weekend. As you can see, that's where I am right now. And you may see someone drive by or you may even hear baby Billy, my rooster in the background. All right, let's get started. Jacket stores this week, it's been restocked. New things have hit the shelf, so make sure you take your folders with you to STEM Lab. And I want to shout out to some pre-K kiddos in Miss Soaps' room. Look at them putting their numbers in order and matching uppercase and lowercase alphabet. Watch out, kindergarten teachers. Here they come. And going to celebrate again Miss Hale's class with their trophy for music champions last week. But this week, the trophy moves on to Miss Sanders' class for nice singing voices and helping each other out. Way to go, Miss Sanders' class. Continuing on celebrating, as you heard on Friday, Miss Hollinger's class had the highest attendance for the month of February. So they all got their dude perfect keychain. So we are working on our March attendance now. March, March attendance. And our March attendance, Dr. Buller is going to bring around water bottles for every kiddo in the room that has the highest percentage attendance for the month of March. So be working on that, being at school, because you learn and grow when you're at school. All right, and you know we're working on the heart of a yellow jacket. Do you have a heart of a yellow jacket? Do you use kind words? Do you follow the teacher instructions? Do you use whole body listening? Let's check out some boys and girls that Miss Wilson and Dr. Bowler caught this week using all of those things while in the classroom. Let's watch to see how you can be at the heart of a yellow jacket by using kind words in the classroom, voice level and following teacher instructions in the classroom, and engaging in whole body listening while in the classroom. You're doing great. You're doing great. Okay. Oh, you know that they are all eating their tea. They are standing and engaged in Miss Pace's room. And then you go over to Miss Thomas's classroom where all the boys and girls are very quiet listening to their friends answer. Daisy and Timothy working together and using kind words to each other while they are completing and counting math, counting coins in Mr. Greg's class. Oh my, look at every single boy and girl that's in Miss Sanders' room. They have their notebooks open and listen. What does it say? So we're going to put it right there. All eyes on Miss Hollinger. Once again, way to go, Miss Hollinger. All eyes. We hope that while you watched all of these boys and girls using kind words, working with their partners, following teacher instructions, and whole body listening that you can work this week on engaging and being the heart of a yellow jacket in your classroom by following these simple expectations. All right, so that was a lot right there. I'm gonna scroll right back up to our expectation chart. These should be clear. There's only three things. Use kind words, which means we are respectful and helpful to our friends in the classroom. Be accountable. Use your voice level that the teacher gives you and always follow your teacher instructions. And last, be respectful. Use your whole body listening when the teacher is listening or your friends in the classroom. Let's work this week to make sure that all our classroom expectations are happening in each classroom that we go to. And remember, Miss Wilson and Dr. Bowler are on the lookout for our daily visits, and we may not get to your classroom, but we will get there. And if you are following those classroom expectations, we're going to get a text that says Braxton has a positive office referral, or any of these boys and girls have a positive office referral, because we want to celebrate you and your good work in the classroom. So I want to launch you with this. Right now, we haven't filled up a whole lot of squares, but we're working on it. Going to think about something special when we get those 100 filled. So just keep that in mind. Keep working on making good choices and following those expectations. 
but not just the expectations of the classroom, in the cafeteria and on the playground. So make sure that you are always following those expectations. Everyone have a great Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all five days. Have a great week and everyone do your best and give your best effort.